Robots are helping to serve up innovative ideas and solutions in many areas. Chow Wei Gong is founder and CEO of Beto Robotics. The company aims to develop the next generation of mobile robots for manufacturing and commerce. I want to welcome you to the show. Um, we just saw this report about robots in the food industry. I remember talking with you just a couple of years ago, and you said if you want to go out and find robots, just go to automobile assembly plants. You'll find them there. Are they creeping into other areas, or is that still the case where you find them mostly in manufacturing? Uh, at this moment, the uh, main application is still in manufacturing, but uh, nowadays you start seeing some of the robots being used in grocery shopping. Um, when my academic brother opened the company, I actually do grocery scanning for Walmart as well, just to make sure everything or the logistics is correct, or the supply will be refilled very quickly. Some of the robots are being used in pharmaceutical industry as well. so. We see a trend, a lot of robot technology is being used in uh, fields beyond manufacturing. And you're all in on this, so uh, look towards the future. Give us an idea, where, where, what areas do you see robotics or machines being utilized even more? Uh, I still was saying uh, commerce. Like uh, a lot of people are saying in the past 10 years, it's the era of e-commerce because this is basically connecting the people's need, information around that, and then connect with the actual shop. But still, there's a lot of human operations, uh, intensive labors in the process of actually delivering the physical goods to the customer. But now we're seeing there is a seamless uh, integration between these uh, using robots for automation, automatic delivering goods to the customers, making the cyber world, the information world, seamless connected with the physical world. We just saw Francis Coe's piece. Uh, machines can obviously do certain tasks more efficiently than humans, uh, but in settings like restaurants, part of the value is that human interaction where you sit down, you have a conversation with the waiter or the waitress. Can that be replicated by robots? Um, it is for sure hard, but there are a lot of tech giants working on such topic. Like for example, a lot of people have experienced Siri in iPhones. Uh, we know Google Home has a very nice uh, voice assistant. Uh, so I think it's getting there. Um, yeah, but still sometimes people want to have a more personal touch, which is beyond just being able to communicate in, uh, verbally. Um, so we'll see uh, how the industry develops from there. You, you can save the tip money, though, with the robot. Um, there's concern about uh, robots, of course, replacing humans. There's also this idea of cobots, uh, robots that collaborate with human employees. Um, is, is that part of the equation moving forward, do you think? Uh, for sure, uh, especially in manufacturing, a lot of people start thinking about how people working together with robots can improve the productivity rather than trying to do a moonshot to uh, shoot for the full automation. Uh, there are tons of examples of human working together with robots can uh, greatly improve the productivity and deliver very uh, extraordinary performances, so yeah. Talk to me about your vision for your country, uh, company rather, Beto. Uh, where do you see it going? So it's kind of interesting. A lot of people think Beto is a like a mobile robot company, but what Beto is really doing is actually providing a software platform so that people do not need to worry too much about the technology, the specific robotic technologies behind the scene, but focusing on the application itself. So we're trying to lower the barrier of using robotic technology so a lot of people, more and more people can use these fancy technologies to do something useful to provide solutions for their uh, specific applications. Chao Wei Gong joining us from San Francisco. Thanks so much.